what I'm going to talk about today is part of the reason I didn't post a video yesterday. Kirk Duncan in his Building a Mind is Still CDs, he talks about how there are forces, there are people that you can't see that surround you, that are all around all of us. And he calls them dot people. They said some people call them devils or evil spirits, and they are real. And the, their sole purpose is just to bring you down. They will tell you all the negative things that you think you're really thinking about yourself, but guess what? You're not really thinking those things about yourself because your spirit knows that you have great potential and that you are any of those negative, nasty things that you're thinking. What happens is that odd people tell you these negative things and then they keep telling you so often that you start to believe it. Then that affects your whole perspective of yourself. When I was in high school, I really wasn't that great of a cellist. I never took private lessons. I never owned my own cello. We always rented one from the school district and I just started playing in fifth grade. And I didn't really practice that much because the cello parts for an orchestra piece aren't that exciting. And so I would get bored practicing and I'd miss a day. We're supposed to practice 20 minutes a day. I miss a day. Thought, well, I've already missed one day. I might as well skip the rest of the week. And that was, I've realized now that was the dot people that telling me that. I was told by these negative dot people I wasn't very good and sometimes once you stop believing something, the dot people will then go to layers outside of you, of real people, and they'll influence family, friends, co-workers, teachers, other people to say the same negative things that they had tried telling you that you rejected in your mind, but they're going to keep telling you that seven or nine layers up and you just have to keep resisting when you well then when I talked about this just a few days ago on is your cello in tune video the music and it is the hardest cello music I have ever played ever and I thought I don't know if I can do this I'm not that good of a cellist I haven't played in over 10 years really. but I thought no I committed I'm gonna do it and I practiced and you know what I actually got pretty good practicing amazing what practicing at least half an hour every day for the last two weeks has done for my ability. And today the Natty's piano teacher who arranged this music, she told me that it was the best she's ever heard me play. <laughs> and so what happened this morning when I was getting ready to go to church to play this piece, um, I had I was nervous and thinking, oh I'm gonna get distracted and I'm gonna lose my focus and then I'm gonna get all shaky and I'm gonna like fumble on my notes and I was just all these thoughts were coming at me and I said no. I said I am a focused and confident cellist and I kept telling myself that out loud and so when I went to the church and I played the musical number and I did really good. It was probably one of the best times, best performances I've ever done and I know it's because I practiced but then I also know it's because I refused to listen to the negative voices that tried to tell me that I wasn't that good and that I would never be able to play this piece and that I would get distracted and I would mess up and I would be an embarrassment or all the things that they used to tell me when I would have when I would perform publicly. Anyway, that's just my little experience today on dealing with the dot people and how you can really protect your mind and perspective on life by refusing to listen to the negative voices that are trying to tell you despairing things about yourself because your higher power is not the one telling you those things. That's what the negative voices are telling you and that's what I have for today.